So we got Hatsu Miku, Project Diva, Mega 39. Let's check it. Sega. Hatsune Miku, Project Diva, Series 10th. Yes, I had to pick the game up. As you can see, um, I'm not sure which one of these did I did I like. Did I order the right one? Because like this one does have like the it has like a different than the one where I usually see the one with the C on it. But who really cares? But um, yes, this right here, man. This is Hatsumiku Project Diva Mega Thirty Nine. <laughs> Excuse me. I was um, man, it's take me back, man. I was I was on Hatsumika so hard, man. I'm talking about, I damn near had like all her games. You know what I'm saying? I was getting into buying the figures. I I knew somebody that was buying them and all that. So you know, <laughs> I should have bought one. You know what I'm saying? I mean, but uh, but the thing was um, you know, um. But man, this is a great this is a great port for the Nintendo Switch. We got a physical. <laughs> but man, uh, yeah. But how many songs would I have, man? Maybe maybe a uh, hundred. Man, but um, yes, man. This is a good port. Pick it up for the Nintendo Switch if you ain't already got it. I mean, you can probably get the digital. But me, I like mine physical. You know, I'm just a physical type of fan. I usually like to be able to like to touch them. And um, if you like Hatsu Miku, if you like the ones on the PS Vita, the PS3, the PS4, this would be a great port for the Switch. If not to me, this would probably be the best port for any system just because it's portable. So, yeah. So if you could get into it, pick it up. And um, I'll see y'all in another one. Remember to like and subscribe so I can put out more content like this. And I'll see y'all. Peace.